it's our first day and we just got all ready. We're gonna go to the Trevi Fountain. What time is it, babe? Um, probably like 8 a.m. 8 a.m., which is really early for us. Um, but we wanna get to the Trevi Fountain. These are like the smallest elevators I've ever seen. I know, they have tiny elevators. But we wanna get to the Trevi Fountain, which is a 10 minute walk from our hotel, pretty early, so we can get some photos. This is my outfit today. That's his outfit. Looking cute as hell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, we're gonna take you guys along. We're gonna go get a cappuccino or some coffee and then go take some photos. We're here at the Trevi Fountain and it's so beautiful. But look how busy it is. It's only 8 a.m. They're closing down that area. I think they're cleaning right now, but this is freaking incredible we just took some photos I really like that angle so if you guys come here I recommend taking it from here because right in the middle it gets really really busy so if you want a shot with no one in the background take it from this angle hey, what do you think wow. it's amazing this is great. photos don't even do it justice they really don't so beautiful and there's some shops around nothing's open yet I think it'd be really nice to just grab a cappuccino and just sit here and look at it for a while we're just trying to take it in we've shot a bunch of content and now we're just gonna sit here and look at it so we're actually like present in the moment so with that said we'll see you guys in a bit so we found this spot that's right next to the Trevi fountain and I got a croissant and the croissant is so good. One of the best croissants I've ever had. And then I got an iced latte that got a cappuccino. And it was only like $9.80, so $10 for all of it, which is honestly if you think about it, not bad. A latte usually is like $4.50, so I don't think that's bad at all. Um, and then put all of this gelato. I wish we could eat it, but Zach is allergic to hazelnuts and they carry hazelnut ice cream everywhere. What you got there? So we got mortadella. <laughs> <laughs> Working on my Italian. And then this is prosciutto. And we got I can get some between the crepes. I don't have one of that. Are you five? It's a vibe. We got a crazy view. Oh, and this pear juice. And Looks good. Gorgeous. And then let me show you the view. And this is our view right here. So beautiful. And then there's a view right there of the beautiful Italian streets. And then that view is the best view of all. <laughs> so, yeah, it was five euros for both of this. This was four euros, and then that was two euros. Honestly, not bad at all. I thought it was gonna be more expensive, especially well, yeah, I just thought because we're here at the Trevi Fountain that it's going to be a lot more, but honestly, not that bad. Yeah, it's very, it's like cheaper than what you would get in San Diego, honestly. There's a cool setup. Thank you. Okay, we're going to take a photo now. Bye. Busy streets of Italy. This is right by our hotel. It's so beautiful. So we finished our breakfast which we had a uh, sandwich for breakfast which is an odd thing to eat at nine o'clock in the morning i think that's a thing here though because all those stores that were open for breakfast were all selling this i don't know true I, it was good. I don't know but it was really good i'm very full we're eating way too many carbs but it's okay it's italy and yeah we just
just got back to the hotel right now. Look at this building. This is the view of our hotel, you guys. It's insane, hold on. This is right in front of our hotel. It's crazy. So beautiful, look at this. Are you kidding? We're gonna have to go there today for sure. So now we are in this little town called Trastevere. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's this charming little town and we took some photos and we are gonna go see the Coliseum in about an hour and a half. Um, but we found this really cute restaurant that we just shot at and the owner was really nice. He gave me a flower. <laughs> Uh, but let me show you guys. It's really pretty here. This was our shot right here. But as we dove in deep, the water turned cold. Yeah, we have different dreams so we can never grow. You guys, this makes me really sad seeing all this graffiti. It completely ruins these beautiful streets. But still so, so stunning. Just kind of sad. Switch my outfit. Everything's like within walking distance. Yeah, you can walk everywhere. You don't need to have a car. Yeah, 20 minutes, or if you need to go anywhere, public transportation is like super easy, you know? Yeah. They have like buses. There's also Uber. Train. Uber's kind of expensive, is though. Super if you were to Uber everywhere, it would get really you pricey. Know what? I think that taxis are cheaper here because Uber, the only option on Uber is like Uber Black Eye. Yeah. A 10 minute ride is like 40 bucks. I just don't know how to catch a taxi. I don't know how it works. So, we've just been walking everywhere and you just have to wear really comfortable shoes. Um, I recommend Sam Edelman sandals because they're cute but they're really comfortable. I've been wa We've been walking for like two hours now and my feet, I haven't complained about my feet hurting yet so. A lot of walking. Lots of walking. And I think the Coliseum's like a 40 minute walk right now from this, that town, Trastevere. I, sw I swear I'm probably mispronouncing that. It's very cringy, so I apologize. We're in the Coliseum. This is insane. So much history here. Yeah, but more importantly, Zach has one question. What's your question, babe? Are you not entertained? <laughs> Are you not entertained? That happened here. Yes, it did. Crazy. Dude. I've always wanted to come here. Are you not entertained? <laughs> <laughs> I've always wanted to come here. Yeah, you've been saying that since we were in San Diego. Dude, people died here. I know. They killed each other here. Isn't that crazy? It's crazy. Wow. Wait, I want to have yeah, a hard hat and go there. down there. I don't know how you go down there. I think you have to have the, um, what's it called? You just gotta pay for the access to going down there. Oh. I thought it was gonna be all open though. I didn't think it was gonna be all closed off. Like I this. know, I wonder why it's, it's all closed it's, off. It's gonna break. It's probably just all reinforced. You think it's always been like this? Like for a long time? Or is probably it like recently that time. they're trying to restore it? No, for a long time probably. I don't know. Why don't you guys let us know in the comments if you've been here before? Has always had like construction vibes. Man, we were struggling to find a spot to shoot the Coliseum. Oh my god. But and we finally found a spot. Want to see it? Look at this, you guys. This is freaking amazing. This is like the best view. So if you guys are coming to the Coliseum, you need to come here. It's just up the hill. And you just follow the... Um, just make uh, sure you have a ticket to the forum. Yeah, exactly. So it's in the forum. It's on the right. right hand side. So don't go where everyone's going. You, are where, you go where no one's going on the right because everyone's going like straight ahead. You're going to go on the right. And then this is what you see. In the beginning it was like best view and it's the best spot to take photos also because there's not 10 million other people here 
and it is packed down there. I know it's crazy. I know they really are. But this is an awesome shot. I don't know how they say you can do Rome in a day because no, there's no way. There's no way. You're Whoever says that is crazy. You'll be miserable trying to do Rome in a day because there's so much you to see. You know what's see, funny though? Everybody who said they've done Rome in a day actually has been miserable doing it. That's true. There's just ow, there's so much to see that you need at least at least two days minimum like two no, full days more, anything more than three would be way too much here. yeah but you need two, at least two, two full like days a, I think a, good, a good amount of time yeah hold on but um we are beat we are beat it's tired i mean it's tired see i can't even talk we're tired i think you have to go this way babe you sure or maybe down this way? Down that way. Yes. Okay, let's go down this way. Um, we're tired. We're sweaty. It's hot. We're having a good time. We're having a bomb time. It's incredibly beautiful. Like, I would come back to Rome. Would you come back to Rome? Um, I would. I think maybe that we, we're not going to see, like, everything that we want to see. Um, because we still want to, like, have fun. We don't want to go, go and go and go until we're dead. Even though we're kind of getting to that point right now so yeah it's beautiful we're going down to the forum right now wow there's a lot of people all right guys this is ruby's first aperol spritz ever side note she is an extreme lightweight what's the verdict not good is it sweet it's not bad. Let me try. Yeah. What does it taste like? It tastes like white. Oh, it's good. Oh, it's really good. <laughs> you can drink it. Our food is here. Oh my god. Zach is making it, was it so jiggle. Good. I gotta do it again. I have to do it again. I have wow. to do it again. <laughs> Put it in your mouth. <laughs> well, I'm serious. Put it in your mouth. I'm sure everyone's waiting to see you taste yeah. that pizza. No, Hold on. Awkward. In your mouth. Look at that beauty. This is like. I'm not gonna say. It's like what? Guys, you have no idea <laughs> how fantastic this is. This is what I got. The spaghetti with pork, tomato sauce. That looks like and a fantastic spaghetti. Ready? Oh yeah? Mm -hmm. So good. Oh yeah? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. In other words, my house is over there, guys. That's Zach's house, right there. That big one, that's his house. Just close the escrow on that. Just close the escrow. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to Pantheon this morning. And I'm hungry. And I'm tired of shooting on an empty stomach, so I want to eat. We just found this really cute little alley and this is what kind of the vibe that we were looking for in the other town that we were in, Trastevere, but that had gra graffiti all over the walls. This one is super clean. We found Pantheon and it's freaking magnificent. Look at that. I didn't know that was a church. Well guys, we're here at Zach's house and it's incredible. They say that you're not allowed to sit on the steps. Look at that you guys. It's amazing here. I bought a little book for my coffee table. What do you think? You love this, don't you? Yeah, have you seen this? It's really cool. I can't even take a picture of this. 
is so massive. I know. Someone was saying that, the lady from our hotel was saying that this is like the symbol of like Rome and Italy. It's like their proudest building. This, really? That's what she was saying at the hotel. Their proudest building when the there's a Colosseum like, and like, the Trevi Fountain. It's like this is like the symbol of Rome, at least. All right, so we came up here. Look at that view. Isn't that crazy? We can't go up there, but it's pretty incredible here. It's unreal. I've never seen anything like it before. Look at Zach. He's getting all the content. <laughs> I'm doing a blog post on Rome, so Zach is getting all like the close-up shots and the detail shots and all of that so that we have content for the vlog. Hey, babe. Babe. Hey. Hi. Dude, this is crazy. What do you think? Wow, this is insane how big it is. I know, this is my favorite angle right here. So we just bought tickets to... The lift. The lift to go up, and one of my followers told me that the best views are up there. So it's 10 euros per person. Oh wow. The forums right there, that's where we were yesterday. You can see the Coliseum. Where's the Coliseum? It's the Coliseum. The whole Coliseum is right there. That's so cool. Yeah, it's insane. The buildings There's the square. are just amazing. We're back from lunch. <laughs> and we met two of the funniest Italian dudes. Remember, you have Great to look in food. the lens cap, not in the lens. Oh, not I'm not a pro like you. I know. <laughs> Anyways, these guys were so funny. Yeah. Daniele and Simone. And Simone. They Man. were so cool. Yeah, they were so they were so funny. So I asked him to set. I was about to get the carbonara, and then I asked him for his favorite dish, and he said it was the. I'm not even gonna try to butcher it. I don't know, but he was. He said it was basically carbonara, but with tomato sauce instead of egg, so I was like, okay, that sounds good. So I got it, and then he was like, if you don't like it, you throw my face. You throw the food in my face. <laughs> <laughs> then they, uh, they they were just super, super nice guys. And yeah. Great service, great food, right by the hotel. Kind of good pricing. So we're just gonna chill uh, for the rest of the day. We got Venice tomorrow early. Um, our con The concierge here at this hotel is awesome she's gonna help us book our train tickets yeah um, she helped us book all of our tickets for all of our events like no problem um they've been really accommodating here so i appreciate that you know yeah. all right guys so we will probably Tired. hit you back up when we're on the train to venice and we're gonna take a nap all right